So I think there are two, two uh, um, main points um, that come to, to my mind um, when you ask uh, that question. The first is the concentration of power regarding data. So um, if platforms get very, um, very large and they cover a, a, a vast uh, field of activity of, of, yeah, uh, of people being online, um, they, they uh, hoard um, a lot of data that only they, uh, they can use and uh, um, that is A, knowledge power about the people um, that actually, uh, the clients that actually use the platform and, and you have to have a very responsible um, way of, of dealing with that data um, and uh, so not to in, uh, interfere with personal human rights. And this, uh, the second thing is that um, hoarding that data and not sharing it as, as public knowledge, as public, uh, public good, uh, is, uh, is, is cutting off uh, interesting ways of, of social innovation like, um, like yeah, um, uh, algorithmic learning um, uh, that could be used not for the profit of the company but, uh, but for, uh, yeah, uh, for broader topics. And, um, yeah, so that is the first thing and the second thing is that, I mean, we all know that uh, like internet regulation at the moment is mostly happening on a, a national or re regional basis. Those platforms, when they grow bigger and bigger and, and get a, a, a global reach, are, are transcending those uh, regulated frameworks. And for example, like when you look at the initiatives that we have here in Germany to counter hate speech, um, it's uh, it's like legislation that only applies for, for German uses. So even if content is taken down in Germany regarding this regulation, it's still shown in Russia or elsewhere in the world. So so it, it shows that you don't have like equal power in terms of reg uh, regulation and and uh, internet platforms, and that's difficult.